Hello everyone, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to equip weapons in Vampire. Now, what I'm about to show you is probably going to be painfully obvious to a lot of you, but for a lot of you as well, it won't be. Uh, it wasn't for me in the beginning of the game, which is why I'm making this video. When I was picking up new weapons in Vampire, I would scroll across to my inventory screen to look at those weapons. There you can see what one-handed weapons you've got, what two-handed weapons you've got, and what off-handed weapons you've got, as well as what firearms you've got. And it's kind of natural to think that this might be an area where you can equip them as well, since you can go into each weapon and look at their details. But that's not the case, and you can't equip weapons here. For the first part of my game, I was struggling uh, to work out why I couldn't equip these weapons, and I actually thought maybe I hadn't unlocked locked something yet. But what is actually painfully obvious when you once you know it is that weapons can be equipped from the character screen and this is where you equip them from. Now what I'll just do before I speak further is I will just set this up the way it will be for most of you early game. When you first the first two weapons you get are the used machete and the used stake. These two weapons get auto-equipped by the game for you, so when you first go into the character screen, this is pretty much what you're going to see. And the way you equip weapons from here is you have, this relates to your, these two slots relate to your main hand, these two slots relate to your off hand. If I put another single uh, hand melee weapon into this slot, now I have two single hand weapons in my main hand slots. If I go to my offhand, I can pick a, another weapon for there. So now I have two single weapons in my offhand slot. If I go out to the game and you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see that when I press my left D-pad, it cycles through the two weapons in my main hand. When I press my right D-pad, it cycles through the two weapons in my offhand. And that's pretty much how you can pick and select the weapons that you need to use in the game. Uh, there is uh, something else though I, I want to go over here because it does change it a little bit. When you go back into the character screen, if you have a two-handed weapon to switch for one of these uh, one-handed weapons that you already have equipped, what that does, I'll just choose it now, that's a two-handed weapon, the, the scythe. Now, you'll see that has replaced the weapon that I had in my offhand as well. So any two-handed weapon, wherever you equip it, will replace the weapon you have in the slot beneath it. When I go back out to the game, you can see that the two, the two single-handed weapons in my offhand were there. Now if I press left on the D-pad, both slots are the two-handed weapon. So if I press again on my D-pad, it will cycle between the, the two-handed weapon and the two slots with the single-handed uh, weapons in them. So left on the D-pad takes you, if I go back into the character screen, Left on the D-pad when you have a two-handed uh, two weapon equipped will cycle between this column and this column. You cannot cycle between this, this weapon here and that weapon there and this weapon and that weapon. So if it go out normally to cycle between them, which I showed you a minute ago, you would press right on the D-pad. I'm pressing right on the D-pad and you can see there's nothing happening in the bottom left hand of the screen. That's because it won't allow me to cycle between uh, the two-handed weapon and an off-handed weapon, obviously, because I can't hold both. But if I press on left on the D-pad again, now I can cycle through those two slots. So if I wanted to fix that problem, if I didn't like the fact that I couldn't choose four weapons, that I was stuck with only the configuration of those two and the one two-handed, I would go back into my character screen and I would replace the two-handed weapon with uh, two one-handed weapons like that. So now if I go back out, I can press right on the key on the D-pad to change the weapon in my offhand and I can press left on the D-pad to change the weapon in my left hand. And that's pretty much how it works. It's not as complicated as it first appears. It's actually quite simple. This character screen is also where you equip serums and where you uh, equip your abilities, uh, uh, but I'm not gonna go into those now. I just wanted to make a quick video to help anyone who in the early stages of the game was struggling with equipping the weapons they find. Hope this helps guys. Uh, I'm enjoying Vampire so far. I hope you are too, and I'll talk to you next time.